Okay, great. Um, yeah, so let's move on to this question. What is the square root of 90 simplified in radical form? Okay, so anytime you're taking the square root of something or even the cube root, right? This is like going back to middle school. Or actually, um, yeah, in middle school. So if you have square root of 90, right? So let's say you don't have a calculator. So I'm not going to use my calculator like right now. So if you wanted to simplify this, um, what I tell my students is you need to have this synthetic division. So you're going to have 90. And then you're going to just use, um, I don't want to say prime numbers, but let's keep the numbers as small as we can. So if you have, for example, 90, you know that 90 is divisible by 2. And when I say divisible by 2, you can divide 90 with 2 and you just get um, an exact number. So you don't get an answer that is a fraction and it's not a decimal. So that's what I mean by divisible. So you can get, um, you can divide 90 with 2, right? So 90 divided by 2 is basically 45, right? So you know that this is 45. So let's say you wanted to divide 45 with a so pick a number that is um, as small as you a smaller okay hold on let me rephrase that so when you're trying to divide this right synthetic division you need to keep the number or what do you call this the dividend right sorry the divisor so this is the dividend right so this is 90 so this is what you call your dividend so if you go back to middle school right they talk about the dividend this is your divisor and this is your quotient Quotient is your answer, right? When you're dividing things. So you're going to pick a divisor as sm and go as small as you can, right? So don't pick like 10, right? Um, pick, yeah, prime numbers. Just stick to prime numbers. You should be fine. So if you pick prime numbers, right? The reason why I'm doing that is because you need to count um, how many, for example, if you have a three, right? You have twice of that. That means you're going to take that and factor that out of your radical, right? Okay, so let me just... Um, illustrate that. So let's say you have 45. If you want to divide this with 3, again, we're not using any calculator. That's why I'm doing the long division. So um, if you have 1, so 15, right? So 15, then you have this divided by 3. Again, you get 5, right? So as you can see, because you're taking the square root, right, of 90, that means in a square root, what's the index? So it's 2, right? So when I say index, it's something that we don't really write, but this is basically 2. Because when you have a cube root, the index is 3, right? So in a square root, the index is 2, which we don't write. Does that make sense? So in that case, you need to find a pair of numbers, right? So here you have 3, right? It's a pair, right? So that pair goes out of your radical as one unit. So if you have three, right, that's nine, right? So if you rewrite this root of 90 or square root of 90, so let's scroll down. So square root of 90, when you rewrite this, this is equal to the square root of two times three times three times five, right? So what's going to happen in this um, three times three it's, it's going to become 9, right? And we know that the square root of 9 is going to be 3. So that's going to come out as 3. So one single unit. And then whatever's going to be left inside is this, the numbers that don't have a pair or don't come off as a pair. So you're going to have just 2 and 5, which is 10. That's why when you take the square root of this, make sure you have the plus or minus symbol because taking a square root of a number, you need to have the plus or minus symbol. So just as a recap, apply synthetic division if you don't have a calculator. And what you do is you group the numbers into pairs, right? Because the index is 2. That's why it has to be a pair. So if you're looking at cube root, therefore, you're going to, to group the numbers in terms of three numbers, right, as one group. And then you're going to evaluate, OK, so the square root of 9, right, is actually 3. So the 3 comes out and then comes out of the radical and then whatever's left which doesn't come as a pair, which is 2 and 5. That means those are the numbers that will be left inside your radical and you would have just square root of 10, right? And that's it. So let's see. So we have square root of 90, which is equal to square root of 3 times 3 times 10. So they took out the square root of 9, right? Which is equal to plus or minus 3 square root of 10. 
Exactly. So this is what um, we did. So yeah, remember synthetic division? That's what I tell even my middle school students. And it works every time, so... Okay, great. Um, I have nothing to say. Everything is right. Okay, so... Um, perfect solution and answer.